the prairies are an, a very extensive, very, very extensive ecosystem. It ranges from, you know, Saskatchewan all the way down to northern Mexico. And what we will find is that the effects will be very, very different along the, the, whole, pra the, the, the whole prairie ecosystem. What we know now is that there's going to be a relatively fast, in fact, we're experiencing that already, a relatively fast climate change because of, of, of human activities. And there's a lot of uncertainty out there. The change today is happening even faster. So we can see how those animals coped or didn't cope, what went extinct and what survived and thrived. And then we can make inferences based on what our ecosystem is today and what, what will survive and what won't. And we're already seeing lots of different changes. Even though biodiversity isn't necessarily high, you can still see that there's been a decline or a shift in abundance of different species. Here, losing one species is the equivalent of hundreds and hundreds in a rainforest and the role that that one species plays. I worry significantly that the habitat, habitat fragmentation that results from roads and uh, extensive um, gas and oil development will prevent the movement that would be needed to uh, conserve some of the species. Fire, drought, and grazing, those are the three big processes that operate in grassland. Looking at non-native species and climate change coming at this ecosystem together in concert. Change is inevitable, change happens. Whether humans are causing it or not, change is going to happen, but we are exacerbating or accelerating it. With climate change and these novel ecosystems, we have the ethical problem that if they lose, they lead to the loss of species. Uh, and I tend to think uh, that species have intrinsic value. We let some of these elements of biological diversity go extinct. We or nothing else can rebuild that. Thank you.